what's happening but most importantly what's popping is your girl crazy Pate, and i'm back with another video actually you know what i didn't want to switch it up it's your girl tay it's your girl tay and i'm back with another video so y'all i know it's been a little long i took a little hiatus from youtube because i had so much going on in my personal life and just running my business and playing sports and school and whatnot so i had to take a little break but i'm back and i'm coming back to you guys with a new you know some new advice some new business advice i always feel like when i shoot a new youtube video i'm always saying sorry for like being gone for so long but y'all if y'all know my personal life y'all know i stay busy 24 7. Well, i think i'm gonna just stop saying sorry because i feel like you guys get it by now but without further ado if you're not subscribed to my youtube channel or if you're not following my business please go ahead and do so right now go ahead and like this video and then go to instagram and then follow my business page at taylor's originals or you can follow my personal page if you want to at crazy for tay but it's whatever but i'm gonna give you you know a couple of seconds to do that okay let's get into the video Guys, a whole lot of y'all been asking me how do i print my shipping labels what printer do i use to print my labels how do I even print? Y'all been asking me all the questions, okay? So, I'm here to help you as your little, you know, your little sister, your business sister, your business friend, your business mentor, or whatever you want to call me. Um, so, for starters, I have, I just recently got a Canon printer. It's nothing fancy. I have a Canon TR 4522, if you guys are wondering. It's just a pretty standard printer, you know, it faxes, you can um, scan documents, you can print in color, you can, you know, do photo paper in here. You, there's a whole lot you can do with this printer. The only thing that doesn't do is, like, staple. But, I mean, I don't think that's, you know, a deal breaker. But I have Bluetooth printing, so that's awesome. I can print off all my devices, my phone, my iPad, my laptop, whatever. Um... And I don't have a Rolo, I don't have a Dymo printer, I don't have a solely shipping label printer, I just use a basic printer. And that's all that you guys really need. I feel like people gas up the Dymos or the Rolo printers, and those are cool and all, don't get me wrong, those are, I'm pretty sure, great investments that I actually want to get a Rolo printer, you know, in the future, but right now... I don't need one. I'm in school. I need a regular printer for like schoolwork, and then plus it can serve for my business. That's that's a two for one. That is a two for one. So yeah, but I got that. And then what you guys are going to also need to get off of Amazon because I know Amazon is our best friend. Or you can go to Office Max. Uh, what is it? Office Max or Office Depot or I'm pretty sure Staples. Maybe even Target or um like either one of those stores and get Avery shipping labels okay or you can go to avery.com and purchase them from there these these are the Avery this okay anyway <laughs> um with Avery labels you have to go by the number so if you can see that it's eight one two six so that's a template that I have so basically, you go to Avery.com, right? You can go to templates and it takes you to a whole separate page. And you type in a template that you're looking for. So this 8126 number. And then it brings up um, it brings up the shipping label template. So you can print two labels side by side. So I have this. I actually printed this on regular paper because this was a tester or whatnot. But I don't want to disclose any information, but... You see how it's two shipping labels side by side. That saves paper. It's awesome. I, y'all, it saves paper. Um, but these labels, me take one out for you guys. They're adhesive, so no duct taping unless you want, you know, to do the little extra if you want to. There's nothing wrong with that. But basically, what you do is you slide this into your printer i don't change any settings of my printer at all i keep it like it's regular paper and i put this in there um feed it through and then i have a shipping label right here and a shipping label right here but on the template you get to like um 
I guess like resize your shipping label. So what I do is, give me one second to go to my iPad. Okay, so I go to my Shopify app for all you guys that use Shopify as your website host or whatever. And I go to an order that I want to, you know, print the shipping label for. So let's just go to an old order. Let's see. Let's go to Sierra. Hi, Sierra girl. But I'm going to hit print shipping label. Let me. Yeah. I'm going to hit print shipping label. And then it's going to give you two options. It's going to give the 8.5 by 11 inch for desktop printers. Or it's going to give you the 4 by 6. Choose the 8.5 by 11. Okay. Choose that. And if you have like a Mac product or whatever, an Apple product, I hit save to files and I name the document like whatever, uh, I name it like this order is what, uh, 1371, so put that in there, right? So I close out of that and when you go like to Avery.com, because with the template you're going to have to download it. So I downloaded it and I bring it up in pages. So, I bring it up in pages, and it's called, like, Avery. I'm going to go ahead and delete these shipping labels I already have on here because I don't need them anymore. But I go to the little add button up here. Sorry, y'all. I just dropped my labels. I go to this add button up here, and I go to insert from. You know what? Why did I just screen record? Oh, wait, no, because I have personal information. Anyways, I go to insert from, and then I go to my recents, and then you can find a shipping label, and then you can just insert it, whatever. It's easy peasy. When I'm done, I hit print or whatever. I'm pretty sure that's probably like an easier way of doing this. I just now switched to adhesive labels. At first, I was printing out like my shipping labels one by one label on one piece of paper, and I had to cut up the label all by myself, like trim the borders or whatnot, and duct tape it. That was such a long process, but this makes it so much easier. And if you guys like, all the information is gonna be down in the description box below, like the websites and everything. So I, your girl got you covered, got you covered. So. <coughs> Yeah, anyways. Oh, and by the way, just about this printer, it comes with colored ink and black and black ink already and photo paper. So there's not a whole like low maintenance. You probably just gotta get paper and an extra ink if you want to, but anyways. And then also I got these off of Amazon for about I think it was I don't know. I'm going to insert the price somewhere over here, but I have a hundred total. I recently just learned how to make my own stickers. Shout out to Southern Georgia or no, Southern GA Charms. Shout out to you, sis. Because she actually taught me, well, not taught me, but guided me on how to make my own shipping. Mm, can I not talk? She actually taught me how to make my own stickers from home using the same printer I do everything else with so like I said you can go to avery.com or avery.com slash templates and you want to search for the template 2287 and basically you get to print out like your own stickers and I wish I had they're downstairs but <clears throat> this is what they look like I may just insert a video a little clip or whatever matter of fact I'm gonna just how am I packing my packing TikTok right here? You just watch that, you know. View that for a little minute. And then peep the sticker somewhere in there. So yeah, that's what it looks like. And it's totally easy. Like I said, I don't change none of the settings on my printer. I just feed this through like where the regular printer will go. And it works wonders. I'm in love with my printer. It's totally a great investment. And yes, please don't come from my head saying, just go ahead and get a Rolo. Like I said, I'm in school. Okay? Okay. But, <laughs> but no, guys. This has just been a little, a little, um, video. 
for how I put shipping labels and everything. Um, this totally saves time at the post office because I know some people they just like write the address on there and then go to the post office and pay for everything there. But when I tell you it's just so much easier just go ahead and buying a shipping label off of Shopify or, or Pirate Ship or whatever um you know whatever uh thing or source that you use to get your shipping labels. It's just so much easier just printing them out from home, sticking them on that bad boy and shipping them off to your customers. So yeah, and plus it looks more professional just having that adhesive. Like it just looks nice and clean. Cause when I did the duct tape, I mean it was okay. It was clear shipping tape, packing tape, whatever you wanna call it. Um, but it's just mm -mm. cause this season, we're about to step into 2021. It's not that it's what? It's about two months, less than two months left of 2020. And I'm this is fourth quarter. I'm trying to step up my game. I'm trying to grow as a business and as a person. And I'm just trying to just spread my outreach, you know? But yeah, this this has been this has been a video. So like I said before, if you're not following me, if you're not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and do that right now because I know y'all got the vibe. I already know that y'all gonna be one of more. So just go ahead and just even turn on my post notifications so y'all know when a fresh new video drops. Hopefully it's not um that's postponed as the last one has been but yeah anyways i love you guys so 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 much like i said check down in the description box below for all information and i'll see you guys in the next one